Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me again today. And this story comes from Southampton. A massive seizure that has occurred at Southampton Port. 946 kilos of cocaine, which is nearly a ton, has been seized by Border Force officers. The industrial scale amount was seized on Friday and it was hidden among bananas at the English port. The street value is estimated at £76 million and the Class A drugs were found in a shipping container on a commercial vessel docked at the port on Friday. Some of the packages even have Transformer logos on from the popular film franchise. Multiple packets were found within the cargo and they are suspected to have been placed inside banana boxes in Colombia. The shipment was bound for Antwerp in Belgium and Border Force officers searched using various search techniques and visual checks identified anomalies within the cargo during a routine inspection at Southampton. Home Secretary Preeti Patel said this was drug smuggling on an industrial scale and she was delighted that the Border Force officers have prevented a large amount of dangerous drugs from reaching our streets. She said they devastate communities and line the pockets of serious criminals and a serious driver of violence which ruins lives in across the country. She said we are sending a strong signal to criminals in the UK and abroad seeking to smuggle drugs that your efforts will fail and we will do everything we can with our law enforcement powers to stop drugs coming into the UK. Tim Kingsbury, the regional director for Border Force, said this was a massive seizure and has removed a massive amount of drugs from circulation. And being as this did not involve NCA or any other branches, this was definitely just... The border force, every now and again, they do strike lucky. So that's a massive story coming from Southampton. And going over to London as well, police have found 825 plants in a bank on a high street. The initial discovery was made on the 13th of January, following reports of the strong smell of cannabis and a warrant was obtained to enter the premises on the 14th. Detective Inspector Andy Spooner said, They say that this is the first cannabis factory in the city, but... That is frankly a ridiculous statement. He has no doubt it was being set up because people are out of work during the pandemic and more people must have noticed the unusual activity. And they say they will continue to police the local area in order to bring down these sorts of operations. And in another story that's from Plymouth, it's not very far from Southampton and it involves drug importation and smuggling as well. Recently, James Malouche was one of the latest members of an organised crime gang to be sentenced for his role in a large-scale drug conspiracy. The operation has seen 30 members sentenced for more than 233 years, including John McDonough, who was arrested in the Royal Devon and Exeter Hospital car park while bringing drugs to an Exeter-based courier called George Cubbin. In November of 2017, James Malush appeared at Liverpool Crown Court and he was sentenced to three years and two months for his role on the 19th of December last year. The 27-year-old entered a guilty plea for conspiracy to supply Class A drugs at a hearing earlier on. A third member of the gang, Jack Ball, aged 27 from Plymouth, was sentenced at Liverpool Crown Court in January for seven years and eight months after entering a guilty plea for the same offence. Jack Ball was the principal organiser of the Plymouth Organised Crime Gang. He was arrested at Heath Row with a one-way ticket to Bangkok. James Malush was a close associate of Jack Ball and he had been a trusted member of the Plymouth Crime Gang, whose role it was to bring drug couriers and travel to Mexico, Thailand and the US. Another member of the gang, Tony McCann, aged 26 from Liverpool, was sentenced to six years in prison on Friday the 11th of December. McCann was extradited to the UK from Spain in August of 2020 and he entered a guilty plea for the same offence. McCann was a trusted member of the Liverpool side of the gang and he was instrumental in the arrangements of the supply of cocaine from Plymouth. They joined 28 other offenders that were brought to justice in the courts and sentenced over a two-year investigation by the Regional Organised Crime Unit in cooperation with Devon and Cornwall Police. 
Liam Cornett, 29, from Highton, and Michael Rice from Tuckstiff and Kieran Eaves of Hale were the head of the organised crime group, they said, and its tentacles spread as far wide as South Wales and Cornwall, and they used intimidation to sell crack, heroin and amphetamines. The investigation was launched after a grenade exploded at a property in the Dingle on the 27th of March. 2017 we actually featured that in another story as well to do with liverpool crime they said this led to the discovery of 160 kilos of amphetamines and 11 kilos of heroin an inquiry into the drug seizure detectives found a network of dealers that went across the country and of course the number one way that they have to get the stuff is it has to come in for the ports so indirectly or directly they could in some way along the chain be connected to the importations that would have been in Southampton for example or even Plymouth they said they established a drug line in Plymouth and they had couriers that went up and down the country bringing the drugs and the money the organiser of the gang relocated to Plymouth from Liverpool and he took control of the stash at the home of a vulnerable adult in the area and this was classed as a drugs warehouse so this is a massive example of how widespread and also the different ways people do get stuff into the country. Some people are going out of the country to bring it in. Some people are importing it through ships, through the mail, through various different methods that the police are constantly trying to keep up with. So I really want to hear what people have to say on these stories. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.